<clears throat> okay, let's have a look around this uh, R registration, so either 1997 or 98. Land Rover Defender 90 300 TDI factory county station wagon, uh, not a conversion. Um, in Epsom green with uh, grey cloth interior as always. Um, quite a big spec on this one. It's got the standard alloys on it, but it's got uh, extra front lights, um, North American spec side lights, indicators, excuse me, and rear lights. Stainless steel grille and light surrounds. Uh, checker plate on the wing tops and the rear quarters. Uh, snorkel. Um, snow cow for the heater. It's got a lot of extra lights on it. Whole load up there on the um, on the roof bar and a couple at the back. Around the tail end, we've got rear bumperettes, rear step rear mud flaps, adjustable tow pack, um, access ladder, as I say, some uh, rear lights there, and I did see a couple, yeah, in the back here. So I don't know if it's been used for a recovery vehicle or or, or what, or just someone that like lots of lights, not sure. Internal spec, uh, at the moment, I'll say this now, um, obviously when it left the factory, it would have had four individual folding seats in the back of it. Um, two of them have been taken out and we don't have them. The other two I have just tacked in for the moment because invariably when we put them back in, someone says, whoever buys it says, I don't need the seats. So they have to come out again. So they are just tacked in for the moment. But obviously we can um, bolt them in properly as they should be. Uh, we can also supply and fit the other two if you want them. Uh, the seat belts are all there for all four seats. It's also got a dog guard in it with um, a rack on the back of it. Uh, what else do we have? Looks like it's got LED lights in the back. In the front here, we've got centre cubby box. I'm told that's the controller for the for the extra lights, but I haven't tried them. Um, radio CD with auxiliary plug. It's got a voltmeter in it. Oh, it's also got, again, I haven't tested it, but it's also got an auxiliary fuel tank on it. Um, an extra fuel tank, slung where a TD5 one would be but haven't tested that, so don't know if it's functioning. Um, it's got the sort of aftermarket center cons, sort of oddments tray down there. Center co box we've talked about, and that's it. Um, otherwise, standard 300 TDI. Right, let's go around and pick out some good bits and bad bits. Um, paintwork looks to be largely original on it, and it has it is suffering quite badly, as do a lot of the Epsom green ones, a lot of the metallic ones generally, from um, Lacquer peel on the roof, as you can see along there. It's quite a lot of lacquer peel. That's why you see a lot of them with a white roof, because it does for some reason doesn't um, the lacquer doesn't come off the white. I'm sure a painter will be able to tell me why. Probably it's not lacquered in the same way. Um, but yeah, quite a lot of lacquer peel on the roof. But again, that's very common on uh, um, on ones where uh, where they've got a body coloured roof in metallic. Um, around the front end, it's obviously had light guards on it at some point because it's still got the holes up here for the light guards and the bottom bits are still in place, but obviously the light guards aren't fitted anymore. Paint on the bonnet has gone a little bit flat, um, probably just through age or sun more than anything else. Uh, let's have a look walking around the sides. A couple of tiny dinks just here in the front of the near side front wing and a few hedge scratches. It's obviously seen a little bit of um, green laning or something in its time. Oh, it's also got steering guard, which I forgot, forgot to mention. Um, and of course, I forgot to mention it's got uh, rock and tree sliders on it as well. Um, near side front wing, so apart from these hedge scratches and these couple of tiny dinks here, is okay. Scuttle corner on the near side actually looks to, a little bit of paint loss, but otherwise looks to be in generally good shape. Screen itself looks okay. Light bar has lost a bit of its um, colouring. Couple of, again, a couple of head scratches and stuff down here, down the sides. Little parking dink there, another little parking dink there. Otherwise, near side door is reasonably good. A little bit of paint loss up here on the top edge. Um, inside, it's actually quite nice. Headlining's in good order. Uh, the seats look to be in good shape from this side, except the driver's seat, as, as always, has lost a little bit of its um, foam shape on the inside there. Is that a slight nick in the seat? Yeah, possibly a repaired nick. 
just there. Uh, it's still got its carpets in though, which is unusual, which generally means it doesn't leak like a sieve because they don't smell. And behind all there, it looks pretty good. Door cards are, are nice. I mean, so the interior is pleasant on it. Cubby box isn't warm. And we've talked about the, uh, the rear seats and what have you. Near side rear wing, again, a few hedge scratches down the sides. And there is a slight dent just here. And there's obviously electrolytic reaction down the back edge of the wing. And a piece of wheat. Um, again, quite heavy electrolytic reaction on the near side rear corner, but not uncommon around here. And down here in paint loss and what have you. Uh, in the back here again, it's in good order. Oh, we didn't look at the door frame, so I'm half asleep today. It's been an early start. Near side door frame actually feels pretty good. Yeah, nothing wrong with that at all. A little bit of surface corrosion in the back edge of it just there, but uh, aside from that, it's very good. Um, tailgate frame. Just starting to go just there, but otherwise quite reasonable. Yeah, just starting to go just, um, where's it gone? Just there. Uh, but in the back here, that's all as it should be. The tailgate itself, as always, lots of electrolytic reaction on the bottom edge and up around the handle. And up there as well. And down there. And down there under the spare wheel. Uh, looking down the offside, got a little bit of paint loss just there on the tub top trim. But otherwise, looking down the offside, actually looks relatively straight down there. Uh, offside rear wing, all looks pleasant enough and correct. Offside door's got quite a lot of reaction just in the bottom corner there and along the bottom edge. The rock and tree sliders have lost a bit of their coating, that's just where my foot's been on it. Um, but they so say, again, the offside door's quite a bit of reaction just up here on the top of the door, just there, and on the top of the frame, just there. And we've talked about the lack of loss on the roof. Offside front wing, fine, no problems at all. Scuttle corner on the offside again, all good. And then having a look inside again, door card is nice. Offside door frame is good. Anything wrong there? Um, yeah, so this seat's just lost, lost a little bit of its uh, um, foam backing support. That can be rectified. Um, but the seat cover itself is, uh, is in reasonable order. Um, yeah, there we have it. Just a sort of... A 300 TDI in Epsom Green is, is a lot of people's ultimate defender. Um, this one ticks a lot of boxes. I like it. My name's Simon, you can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495 or you can go to our website which is www.motodrome.co.uk for any further information. End.